The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat Al-Qaeda. All you got to do is start looking around, start thinking for yourself, start investigating things, and you will see it all right there. So you have the power. Humanity has the power. We have the power. Do you want to fight? You better believe you got one. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. As for me, give me liberty or give me death! The answer to 1984 is 1776. Well, my friends, it's April 10th on this Wednesday edition. Five days from now, many of you that aren't on the welfare system yet. Don't worry, the rest of you will be soon enough if the New World Order has its way. Uh, it's the time on April 15th when you pay more of your private Federal Reserve notes, I mean, it is their notes, to the private banking cartel. But alas, today is April 10th, 2013, and I am your host, Alex Jones, and this is yet another edition of InfoWars Nightly News. And believe me, tonight is a very special edition of the transmission. This and a lot more is coming up. Tonight, Joe Biden calls Second Amendment advocates the black helicopter crowd. Kind of scary, man. Black helicopter crowd really is upset. Then, a DHS-funded course is asking cops if they will confiscate guns from Christians. An environmentalist sign a petition in Austin, Texas to ban water? No way. All that and more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. All right, first off tonight, we premiered uh, on last night's news the footage shot here locally in Austin a few days ago by Jakari Jackson and David Knight where the mayor pro tem and city council member Mike Martinez is trying to win the Santa Ana or King George or Kim Jong-un award, uh, came out and said, hey, we are going to ban your guns once we register them. And the whole crowd laughs and snickers as they uh, assault uh, the two pro-gun people there peacefully with signs. And then the media, uh, local media, lied about them and said that the gun, uh, the pro-gun people were bad. Uh, just amazing uh, levels of propaganda. And then Art Aceveda, we're going to get to that piece in a minute, came over to confront Jakari and say, look, uh, tell Alex he's wrong. I don't want a gun ban. I just want to, quote, you know, track criminals getting guns. Yeah, right. When in every case they end up going after the guns. Uh, so our story has gone viral and that video, uh, Democrat admits Obama agenda is a total gun ban. Uh, he said, quote, we will make your sign legitimate shortly, which says stop gun ban. And he's saying, you know, obviously we are going to do that next after, after we register. And they have this double game going where they deny uh, the fact that they want to register and then confiscate, even though that's their official plan. And then when we talk about it, they make fun of us and say it doesn't exist. Like, there's no two billion bullets. There's no drones. There's no NSA warrantless wiretapping. There's no TSA sticking their hands down your pants. There's no radiation from the body scanners. Lies, lies, lies on top of lies. And I've never seen the lies at this level because they're making their full move right now. I mean, hell, they took the Europeans' guns, so now they can take their bank accounts. They're getting ready for that here and openly announcing it. Meanwhile, Joe Biden comes out and says, Hey, there's no gun registry. We're going to do a whole piece on this this week. It, the ATF's been caught by Congress, and they keep doing it, keeping an entire list when you do the NICS check with your name, Social Security number, and the type of firearm you're getting. They, you know, they ask shotgun, rifle, or, or handgun, and then they have a record there that also ends up getting digitized uh, in many cases. So it, it's a complete lie. But his answer is the black helicopter crowd. Of course, in the last month, there have probably been 30 drills we know of with black helicopters. So they're having drill after drill, gun confiscation drills, training that Christians are terrorists, gun owners are terrorists. There's black helicopters crashing, gun confiscation activity going on, and then they just say none of it exists. This is a cult. 
They want you to buy into the fact that you'll be socially ridiculed if you admit what's going on outside. Classical tyranny unfolding on every front. So here's a video clip of Biden making jokes about the black helicopter crowd. That means the common sense crowd. If you don't trust known liars, you're a conspiracy theorist if you question them. And, and, and if you question classical tyranny, you're a black helicopter uh, person, which just represents the whole shadow government that isn't shadow anymore. Uh, it's now absorbing uh, the old republic, and the shadow government is a collaborator group publicly run by foreign criminal Ponzi scheme banks. So let's go to that clip. Let me read some of the things they're saying about background checks. They say, quote, we, the federal government, want to put every private, private firearms transaction right under the thumb of the federal government and keep all those names in a massive federal registry. Kind of scary, man. Black helicopter crowd really is upset. Now let's continue to look at this massive culture of denial. Uh, the Austin police chief, who isn't just up there in Washington every other week now, standing behind Biden and Obama, he's now speaking at the lectern with them because I guess they think he's a slick BSer. He's like, come on, we just want to track the criminals. When in every case they register to then confiscate in New York, Chicago, you name it. This is a formula. And he was there that day in Austin next to the city councilman saying, we're going to get your guns after we finish our work of registering. We're going to ban your guns like your sign says, and the crowd roaring and laughing. And then Ace Aveda comes over to our crew and basically implies, it's ridiculous. Nobody wants your guns. Nobody wants to go after them. Oh, but yeah, the psychiatrist says so, even though there's no court adjudication. Yeah, then you lose your guns as well. Uh, it's just truly disgusting uh, how they're selling uh, the cyaniding of our liberties incrementally. So let's go ahead and uh, go to this piece on art, uh, Santa Ana Aceveda, or Aceveda, uh, the uh, federal uh, minion, uh, who is definitely selling his soul out to the globalist right now. It's happening right now, and he's up there on the big stage uh, with Beelzebub himself. If we stop one child from dying, yes. one police officer from dying, yes. one neighbor from dying, one loved one from dying, it is a small price to pay to go into a gun, gun place to buy a gun, show your driver's license, demonstrate who you are, have someone run you, and most places it's instantaneous. What's wrong with that? Nothing. How do you argue against that? First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh, someone needs to inform him that there is no gun ban currently. But because of the work that we're doing here today, we will make your side legitimate shortly. So you hang on to that. Now there's more to this story. Jakari Jackson and David Knight, who were down there filming all of this, witnessed that the Bloomberg-funded uh, Wall Street group was filling out the fake placards to make them look like they were homemade. Awesome. Thank you for making it up. You're welcome. Thank you for holding it. And then the Austin police chief, who's up in D.C. right now lobbying against the Second Amendment with Holder and Obama and the vice president, he came over and, and told Jakari, hey, I don't want the guns. You don't say that. All he wants is to ban high-capacity mags, that is a ban, uh, and to register everybody so they can confiscate. And, and Arde Saveda is a really smart guy, so he knows full well what the plan is, and uh, that makes it even more disgusting. So here's a clip of that exchange. And we've seen in California, they do confiscation. Now, so far, they're just for, you know, domestic abuse cases and things like that. But let's say the laws are passed and they want to ban high capacity magazines. And if you keep your assault rifles, would you support a confiscation on that? You know, I, I really feel very strongly that if we did the things that, that are pretty common sense in my mind to do better, they wouldn't be talking about. There wouldn't be so much talk about confiscating, uh, or, or, or be talking about uh, uh, banning assault rifles or high-capacity magazines. Registration of people who have not been convicted of any crime. You know what? 
I, personally, uh, I wouldn't have a problem with that because to me, I register my car for a reason. Uh, that is so people know that's my vehicle, it belongs to me, and if anybody's found with that vehicle and it gets run, then they know there's a problem. Uh, when I sell my vehicle, I do what's called a lease, release of liability, I transfer ownership. Uh, again, I know that folks uh, really believe that if we had registration of firearms, that that's the step right before confiscation. And my response to that is, the day the government wants to do something silly, like go around to 300, over 300 million Americans and take guns, and 300 uh, sets of uh, homes with different people, they'd go house to house anyway. Hey, guns, guns will be taken. Yeah, no one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. You know, whether they're registered or not. Uh, and I really believe that that will never happen. That happened today in this wealthy neighborhood where homeowners had armed themselves to protect their mansions. <laughs> Residents were handcuffed on the ground. In the end, police took their weapons but let them stay in their homes. They were a little bit threatened because our weapons were bigger than their weapons. Chris Montgomery says he'd rather be in Iraq than patrolling American neighborhoods. Walking up and down these streets, you don't... You don't want to think about the stuff that you're going to have to do if somebody pops around the corner. Let me shoot an American. Yeah. By the way, that was just a short clip out of uh, a shorter clip from the nightly news that we put out last year. And you notice it had over 2 million views. So the message to you, Arde Saveda, and the rest of you guys, is we know you plan to confiscate the guns. You're like, it's reasonable. Just let us do this. What's wrong with registration? We'd come take them if we wanted them anyways. Yeah, but you want to know where they're all at. And you want to make it a felony if somebody hasn't told you where the guns are so you can persecute us as a class. <sighs> That's what MSNBC is all about. So we fight with each other over race or religion or where we're from. Instead of recognizing as humans, period, that there's a mega global government run by eugenics control freaks that are butchering our checks and balances and our rights that don't come from the Constitution or Bill of Rights. They're pointed out by the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. They're already there. Ace of Ada, while you have your own armed guards, you're protected with security, you've got a gun on your hip that you would ban for us having. You have a gun with a 15-round mag on your side saying, we can't have that. I'm every bit as much a human being as you. Now, I'm not wearing a clown suit. That's where uniforms come from. It's like you make fun of you know, natives wearing big headdresses. Queen of England wears a crown. You've got a hat on with a big eagle, big fascist crown, headdress. Ooga booga, hunga, hee, hunga. You know, like something out of Gilligan's Island or something. So I'm supposed to go, oh, let me lick your feet. You're wearing the Praetorian blue of the Praetorian Imperial Guard of Rome. Do you even know that, Ace of Ada? even know history? Or you just learn how to BS people all day? That's what you're really good at, isn't it? Making them think you're a real person so you can politically stab them in the back. It's disgusting. Look, look, look at his little outfit. That's all this is. Now, go to the next guy. Go back. Go back to the little uh, OTS we've got right there. I want to show people Santa Ana wearing a little outfit like that. See, the people in the outfits and all the festoon stuff, they get to have guns. Santa Ana got to have guns. But he told the Texans, you can't have them. And they said, well, you know what? Come and take them. Santa Ana, though, was honest. He said, I'm coming to take your guns. So people understood they were about to become slaves. This is the difference. Imagine if Santa Ana had just written a letter saying, give me a list of everything you got. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it, but just give me a list of everything you got and agree that you're going to go to prison if I ever catch you with something I make illegal later. I mean, I mean, this is 101 throughout history. They take the arms from people they're going to enslave. They've already stolen your pension funds. It's already all gone, folks. They've already imploded everything. On, by design, to make you poor paupers under collectivization for everybody to go on food stamps and to get rid of the middle class. The offshore globalists are going to be exempt from all this. But before they can do all that, they've got to get our guns. But more than that, then those of us that don't turn them in will be the persecuted class, the class they go after, because they know that those of us that have guns know we can't trust the criminal governing class. I mean, this is 101 what is going on here. And it insults my intelligence and it insults everyone else's intelligence. And you know, we should play a clip from the local news channel uh, here in Austin who went out and 
showed what was happening there at the event and spun the whole thing to say the pro-gun people cause a disturbance when it was actually the anti-gunners coming up with their hands and hitting on them and pushing them and cussing at them and then the cops come over like you've done something wrong uh, you know to the pro two pro-gun guys with their sign and then the news doesn't show that and then says it's not true that someone said that we're gonna take your guns after we register them and it shows a woman saying you know we've got to deal with these people that are perpetrating trading these lies and then it uh, cuts to the end uh, of what Mike Martinez said to make it look like he didn't say after we register we're going to confiscate to deceive people because you've seen what Martinez really said and we'll also go ahead and show you this newscast and then a clip after it uh, of what really happened and who really caused the disturbance so here's a piece of that newscast Two gun rights activists interrupted the rally, bringing their own message front and center. I'm all for uh, stopping crime, but I'm a big supporter of the Second Amendment. I believe it's a cornerstone of our freedom. The crowd quickly stood up and tried to block their signs. Law enforcement even stepped in for crowd control. Nobody wants to ban guns here. Austin City Councilman Mike Martinez even addressed the two men, saying the message on their sign is incorrect. We will make your sign legitimate shortly. First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh, someone needs to inform him that there is no gun ban currently. But because of the work that we're doing here today, we will make your sign legitimate shortly. So you hang on to that. The issues that are important to us. not about uh, taking guns away from people. That's not going to do anything to stop crime. They need to hammer the criminals. They need to keep them in, in jail or prison when they're sentenced, take the revolving door out of the courthouse, get tough on the criminals. It's, a gun is only an instrument. If it were cars they were doing this with, they wouldn't be trying to ban cars or hammers or whatever.